Hey guys, in today's video, we are checking out the smallest and cheapest expression and volume pedal that I could find on Amazon. This is the V Express by Sonic Cake. It's only about $40, which is the cheapest expression pedal I've probably ever seen. And it's only about five inches long and about a little over two inches wide. I mean, you can see compared to my hand, it's, it's this thing is tiny, but it acts as a expression or a volume pedal and I wanted to check it out and see if it was worth adding to my series of finding cheap gear for musicians on Amazon. So we're gonna check this thing out, see if it works, see if it's right for you. And there are two different models that you can find. There's the active one and the passive one. This is the passive one. It does not require any power or batteries in order to work. And again, this passive one is about $40 and the active one is about $60. But I'm gonna be reviewing the passive one. But I'll mention more about the active one at the end of the video. Before we get started, I post videos like this all the time, stuff about finding cheap gear for musicians on Amazon. Reviews on wireless, in your monitors, MIDI programming, HX stomp programming, stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. All right, let's check this thing out. So as you can see, I have this plugged into my good old HX stomp right here. I'm just gonna go to a random preset and I'm gonna assign a wah pedal to it. It doesn't really matter which one. So I'm going to go to controller assign, learn and move the switch. And as you can see, the position moves when I move the pedal up and down. This isn't a video about how to program the HX stomp. I've done a bunch of other videos about that. So be sure to watch that if you're interested in finding out how to program the HX stomp. So it's on the wall and you can see on the strum. Makes a wall sound. So there you go. It works exactly like you need it to. And the second way that I'm gonna demo this is just as a standalone volume pedal. So you can see again. So it works really well as just a standalone volume pedal. Doesn't need any battery, doesn't need any power. It's completely passive and that works really well. This thing's pretty great. <laughs> especially for 40 bucks. So as far as the build quality, I think this thing is actually great. It's, you know, especially for how cheap it is, it's not made out of metal or something like that, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything. It still feels really solid and I trust it and I don't think it's gonna break, you know, quickly after a few shows. I did actually take it to Texas uh, for a gig. I had, you know, so it survived the flight, the travel, everything, and uh, haven't had any problems with it. So it gets an A plus for me for durability. It is really small. The only thing I can notice is that it is different when your whole foot isn't on the pedal you know with most expression pedals I'm used to having my whole foot on it it moves a little quicker than you'd normally think just because it's smaller other than that I think it's a great great little pedal I mean that's basically it for this this pedal it works really well as a standalone volume or an expression pedal works great with the HX stomp for $40 I don't think you can beat it so there's links in the description down below if you're interested in buying just something to keep in mind anytime you buy something cheap you know that that's this is quite a bit off from most expression pedals I I did a whole video about this, about buying cheap gear for musicians. You do have to realize that not everything cheap is gonna work with every single setup. So you might have a system that it doesn't work with the expression of your random controller that you're trying to control. So always test it out first when you get it and return it if it doesn't work. This worked with my setup and your solution to this might just be that you need the active pedal, the one with the power. So I'm gonna post links in the description down below to both of them. If you do decide to buy the passive one and for some reason, if it doesn't work, Work, test it out right away. If it doesn't work, return it and try the other one. Again, I can't, I'm not going to be able to know every single configuration. This one worked great with mine, but just, you know, be responsible when you're trying out new gear, especially if you're trying to save some money. So that's, that's my advice. This worked great for me, super easy to use. So links are in the description down below if you're interested in buying. Just as a friendly reminder, it is an Amazon affiliate link. So it is a free way to help out support the channel. If you do end up buying using that link, it doesn't cost anything to you. It's just a free way to help support the channel. If you found this video useful, just hitting the like button does actually do a lot. I know YouTubers beg for it all the time, but it does a lot to help out the YouTube algorithm and please the algorithm gods and stuff like that. So I would definitely appreciate it. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos about cheaper music gear for musicians by clicking some of the links on your screen now. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff at Scott Yule Music. Instagram is definitely my preferred one out of those three. If you have any other cool and cheap music gear that you want me to check out, leave a comment down below. I'm always interested in checking out new gear. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.